Hey guys, Jared here from Paradiso Mastery. Hope you've been well. Finally here with that Mastery Tool video that I promised months ago. But a uh, bit of a pandemic happened and uh, things had to be put on hold for a bit as you could understand. But yeah, finally here with that video so why not kick things off with an overview of our doe colony enclosure. There you can see Pia, one of our oldest residents here at the Mastery. She's almost a year and a half. She's retired now, and she's just in here with her daughter Gia, and another mother-daughter uh, combo, Isabetta and Loretta. But yeah, uh, this is 163 litres. Um, it was a storage bin that I converted into an enclosure, very spacious, uh, can house about 10 mice, but I haven't really put in more than about 7, 8. Uh, there's Pierre again. Such a sweet girl, she's always been sweet since the day she was born, that's why we chose to keep her. Um, but yeah, she's in here with a few other people, other people, other mice, sorry. <laughs> but yeah, a uh, little bird's eye view of the enclosure here. As you can see, it's decked out with some driftwood, uh, free boxes that we uh, get from our hardware store, toilet tubes, a few ceramic dishes, and there's Isabetta and her daughter Loretta just having a little drink. And then we've got our 20 centimetre uh, wheel just in the right hand corner. Uh, but yeah, this is how I um, keep uh, the, the enclosure when I'm out there. I leave the lid up and they love running around on the edges. Uh, but yeah, it's awesome. And here's a little close up of uh, two of our other girls in here. That's Gia on the left and Victoria. And then that's Pia who's just run up. Little chonkster. We've tried putting her on a diet, but. Uh, she just doesn't react to it, so I think it's just an obesity gene. <laughs> but yeah, you can see our little uh, heart dish that we got there. There's little Loretta. No matter how many times I hold her, she's always dying to get out. But yeah, they all get along so well. Um, I just put um, Gia and Victoria back in here. Uh, they just finished weaning their litters not that long ago. Uh, but yeah, aren't they gorgeous? I love this little setup. And Pia, uh, she's the matriarch of this uh, colony. She makes sure order is uh, restored at all times. <laughs> but yeah, uh, her daughter is such a much uh, bigger improvement um, in terms of type and colour and size and stuff. Uh, but yeah, they look all so sweet together. I love seeing the mothers and daughters. And then Victoria, she is... Uh, this one here is a bit as uh, auntie, so lots of family ties here, but uh, as you can see here, just showing off some of our stuff. Uh, at the back there we had a little hay nest thing that they love chewing up, and then here's just the driftwood. Um, I get these from the beach, I go to the beach quite a bit, when I do I'm always on the lookout for new pieces of driftwood, and rocks, rocks are good too. But yeah, I just bleach them in vinegar, um, soak them in that with hot water for a few hours and then let them sun dry. And then as you can see here, we've got a drink tray which I stuff with hay that they've used for bedding and then just our 20 centimetre wheel. Um, nice and big enough that I don't bend their backs. And then here I am just uh, giving some treats. Uh, always feel bad uh, disturbing them from their mousy business. Uh, it's a busy life being a mouse, so I'm grateful that they took time out of their busy schedules to uh, let me video. <laughs> There's Pia, she couldn't get around the other side, so she's come through the back. And then there's Isabella up the top. Can't forget her. Gotta give her a treat too. But yeah, uh, we have it on this rattan, uh, rattan, I'm not sure what you call it, um, little stand thing. And then below there we've got a carry cage, a 15 litre one that we converted. Um, perfect for holding them when I'm either cleaning or stuff. And then below that is a cardboard box that used to be one of our carry cages, but we've upgraded now. <laughs> And then beside the um, dough enclosure, we've just got our hemp bedding that we've just started using. Great at odour and moisture control. And then just over here, we've got our little setup, little workstation that I have uh, where I can put the bins and stuff and check on the mice. Up here, we've got our planner in the back, 
Just some little knickknacks that I need to put into enclosures and stuff. And my favourite book that I love reading when I come out here for downtime. And then just below that we've got a little spare cage. And then down below that we've got our little wiener um, enclosure. There you can see our little Francesca. Uh, she's one of our keepers and staying here as a potential breeder. So our wiener bins are 88 litres. I've got another bin like this that I need to make but I've made this first one so far. Uh, but yeah, how's all our wieners? Um, and here there's all females in here, there's about eight, nine. Uh, there's little Francesca dying to get out. So friendly. Uh, the first one out of her litter to jump on my hand. So it's a prerequisite for most of our mice that we choose to stay here. Uh, a lot of it's genetic tameness and you just want to make sure that's passed off to the offspring. Uh, but yeah, here's just a little basic setup. You can see a ceramic dish. I uh, was just about to fill that, so don't worry, they've got food. Uh, then we've got a water bottle, a couple hides, and just a cardboard box there in the corner. Uh, but yeah, and here's three of our other babies that are in here. Could you believe that uh, same father, Siamese father, but all different mothers? Yeah, we've got a South Black here, um, and a Guti, and a Siamese. Uh, the Blacks are going to be paired with the Siamese to hopefully make the points darker. And that a little uh, Gucci girl is going to help start our Burmese and Chinchilla. So uh, I hope you've enjoyed our mouse re tour so far. I didn't realise how long I had filmed until I started editing. So I'm going to split this up into three parts. So for the first part we've just covered the doe enclosure and our wiener bin. And in the next part we'll be showing off our maternity bins and some of our boys.